Morning, all you Trojan fans. Tonight, the Trojans play host to the Lion Mountain Eagles. The Eagles are being introduced right now, and um, they have uh, number 10 out there is Dunkelberger, and then Burke, number 14. Another forward is number 24, Tanya, or rather 30. To Tanya Reed, and then rounding out the Lion Mountain Ball Club will be number 44, Janine Smeltz. The Trojans being introduced now come off a loss the last time out. I'm not sure what Lion Mountain has done, but the Trojans dropped the ball game the other night to uh, Williams Valley here, and they look to get on the winning side of the ledger tonight against these Lion Mountain Eagles. So. Uh, We'll see. The Eagles, or the uh, Trojans, rather, look like they're really fired up for this ball game. I believe they they want to uh, get that first victory under their belt, and so we'll uh, see what happens here as the ball club gets ready to go here. We'll have the national anthem. Be right back. Brand new head coach over there, Mike Reed, sends his charges out here to meet our Trojans tonight. As uh, here in the early going. The Eagles will be without uh, Marie Milky, who is on the injured list, and Marie may or may not see action tonight. Has a very deep uh, thigh bruise, the way I understand, and uh, Marie, a good one for the Eagles, uh, will probably see limited, if any, uh, playing time tonight. She was out there in warm-ups, but uh, has not been announced as a starter, and that was her normal role. So. We'll get her tipped off here now as we get it going. It's Motter tipping it off for the Trojans against uh, the, the Eagles. And on the wing, they come up with it now. This is uh, number 24, Lenker. Near wing over here, they'll go. Back for Lenker, ball came loose. It's gonna be gathered back in here by the Eagles. Over in the corner it goes here to Reed. Reed on the baseline, tries to stuff it in front for uh, Janine Smeltz, but that one was picked off, and back with it comes the uh, Trojans. Shot from outside, looking for three, just off the mark. It goes, rebounded in here to Smeltz. Janine up court with a head of steam for those Lion Mountain Eagles. Races to the hoop for two, it's good. Janine with a good left-handed layup that time, and Eagles lead 2-0. They'll push it down here now for 34, Ewer. Over in the wing it goes to uh, Straub and then into the corner. They're trying to take it inside. The ball stolen away and a reach in foul, I believe, is going to be called on Straub as she reached in to try to pick off that uh, loose ball. And uh, she'll pick up the first foul of the ball game. So They'll swing it over here for Dunkelberger from outside for three. Just off the mark, it goes rebounded in here to the uh, Janine Smeltz. Picks it up. Dunkelberger for a shot. For two, it's good. So Dunkelberger steps up and nails two. It is now a uh, two nothing ball game. Here's a ball stolen away. Coming back with it, number 24. Her shot blocked off inside there. The ball rolls loose. Picked up, let's see, by whom? Well, it's going to be controlled there by your of the. Uh, Trojans, <clears throat> and Shade coming up court with it. Now this is Ashley Shade. Into the corner it goes, tapped out of there as uh, number 14, Casey Burke, I think it is. Got her, got her hand on that one. Shade will inbound it here for Straub. Back over here for Shade, near steal, tapped out of there. Burke makes a play for it. And out of bounds it goes. Ashley will attempt to inbound the ball again. Now the Eagles showing a lot of speed here tonight. Really mixing it up early with the Trojans. So the Trojans got to be alert. Straub with it for Shade over the right wing. Now inside they go Modern. Nice. Oh, well, almost a nice play underneath. Ewer was under there, but uh, pass from Modern just eluded everybody. And up court comes that uh, 24 ahead for a bounce pass on the baseline here for Reed. Reed for two, no good. A return shot put up by Smeltz is no good, but a foul called. And Janine will go to the foul line shooting two for Lion Mountain. Played a minute and 59 seconds into the first period. Eagles up for nothing, and Janine Smeltz is going to see if she can change that a little bit here for Lion Mountain. First shot. 
Good. Five nothing Eagles. Second shot by Smeltz is in and out, no good. Rebound tipped over in the wing off the hands of Burke and out of bounds it goes, so it'll be UD ball. Inbounded here for Shade. <clears throat> Shade back over there for Straub. Straub tried to push it ahead, but it's tapped out of there. I think it might have been uh, Lenker that got a hand on that one. Shade at the top of the circle. Inside they go to Motter, back over in a wing. It'll go. Now back to a pass inside. Nice pass. Ball came loose by the short turn. Put up and in there by uh, Lindsey Miller, I think it was. Looked like Lindsey from here. And then a foul. We're going to call a hold foul on Lindsey, I believe. Yep, Lindsey got him. Got the uh, personal foul. Her first, team second. Team's third, check that. Her first, team's third. Comes Lanker. Lanker moving it up court. Down on the wing she goes here for Burke. Shot, or shot from over there for two, wouldn't go. And the ball goes out of bounds. It'll be inbounded by UD. It's 5-2, Trojans can get back to within one with a bucket here. Shade fires it down the court here. A quick pass for your Joanna will pull it up, spin it over in a wing over there. Picked up by uh, Miller back here for Shade. Shade taking it inside drop, tried to drop it on the baseline, wouldn't go. Smelts for the Eagles picking it up and going all the way to the hoop for two. It's good. Janine Smelts racing up there for two. Jean's experience, Janine experienced ball player. She's a senior steal made by Smelts on the floor. It goes going to be picked up by Shade. Shade breaking it down the court for UD. This is Straub. Over the wing for Shade. Shade picks it off. Dropping it on the near wing here. Miller back over here for a shot from outside by Straub that wouldn't go. And on the rebound, let's see. It's going to be a foul called inside. 34 will be joining your picking up the personal foul for Hubbard Dolphin. The team's fourth, her first. Miller has two. Straub and now uh, <clears throat> Ewer picking up her first of the ball game. Here's a shot from outside. Uh, no good and out of bounds it goes off the shot. 7-2 Eagles 424 left here in the first period. Play it back here for Shade. Eagles have got, or Trojans have got to get it up court here. Now they do. Shade's got it. Tries to push it inside. Picked off in air by Tanya Reed. She'll spin it back here for that uh, Lenker. Lenker taking it over in a wing. We got the coach's daughter there, Lenker. 24. Here's a baseline drive and a shot put up no good. Return shot is also no good. And out of bounds it goes. It'll be Eagle ball. Line Mountain is Schroeder, 33, coming into the ball game for UD is a Bingaman shot from the wing for two. No good. Rebound comes down there and Bingaman picks it off for UD. That's at Amanda Bingaman. Also uh, on the wing. She, whoops. On the wing she goes. Here is Shade drifting it over here now. Shot by Straub for two. No good. A return shot put up. No good. A return shot put up this time and a foul called which will send Joanna Ewer to the foul line. She will be shooting Two. And checking into the ball game to replace a modder for UD. Joanna missed her first one, second shot, good. 7 3 score now. Eagles on top. Quick pass down here for uh, the Eagles. And let's see, goes Schroeder, will pick it up on the wing. Then nearly had it stolen away from her. 12 foot shot by. Uh, Smelts wouldn't go, and on the rebound, it's tied up in there as Christy Bingaman ties up Tanya Reed for her Eagles and uh, gets the ball back for UD. Shade over here for Amanda Bingaman. This goes off Amanda's hand and out of bounds. It'll be inbounded by Smelts of the Eagles. Push it back here for 24. 
Dungleberger. Schroeder, then over there on a the wing. Shot from over there for two, no good. Rebound comes down there. Well, no rebound, kind of an air ball that time. Picked up in here by uh, UD. Off the hands of Straub. Into the corner it goes. Here's a shot, nope, not a shot. Here's a shot by uh, Bingaman. That was that Christy Bingaman wouldn't go. Rebound comes down to Janine Smeltz. Janine controlling it out in front, now taking it inside. Well, let's see, get tied up here with it, and a foul will be called on UD. Foul will be on Christy Bingaman, I think. No, check that. Foul was on Amanda Bingaman. <clears throat> and the last name, right? <laughs> Shot from the wing for two is three is good. That was uh, Reed, I think. Tanya Reed hanging that one up for the Eagles. It's now 10-3. Up court they come quickly. Now for uh, Bingaman. Christie lost the handle on it. The ball gets loose. Picked up in here by Lanker. Here comes Lanker. She has it tapped out of there nicely as Amanda Bingaman come up and tapped it out of uh, Lanker's hand. It will remain Eagle ball, however, as Lanker will inbound the ball for the Eagles. Into the corner for Schroeder. Schroeder back out here for Dunkelberger. Dunkelberger swinging it near wing here for Lanker. Back to Dunkelberger, or back to Dunkelberger, yep. And then Lanker with it. Schroeder on the left wing. Inside she goes to Smeltz. Smeltz will push it back out here for Dunkelberger. They'll swing it around. Schroeder for two, it's good. Shorter pops one right down the chute there for the Eagles. And it's now 12-3 as Christy Bingaman up court with it for UD. Christy double team, the ball comes off. Lanker down of bounds it goes. It'll be inbounded by UD. Replace Lanker for Coach uh, Reed. Here's a shot put up and a foul called and that's gonna send, that will send um, Ashley Shade to the line, shooting two. Foul is on 32, Tanya Reed, her first, the team's third. Shade's first shot, good. And Lindsay Miller checking back into the ball game for UDA now, she'll replay Straub for the Trojans as uh, Shade makes her second of two. Two nice foul shots by Shade. Quick pass down the court off the hands of Burke and out of bounds it goes and so it'll be UD to inbound the ball. After the ball is, oh there it is, it came out of the stands, all right. So the Trojans will inbound the ball. It'll be Miller inbounding for UD. Ewer into the ball game for the Trojans. Over and away it goes, now into the corner. They try to go inside with it, goes nearly out of bounds, but picked up by Smeltz. Janine coming back with it with a head of steam, tries to roll it on the baseline for a shot by Dunkelberger, gets knocked out of her hands, and so it'll be Eagle ball. Good defensive play that time by UD. Might have been uh, Miller making the defensive move that time for the uh, Trojans. It's a looping pass for Reed. Burke over the corner, tapped out of there. Ewer. Gets a hand on that one. Kind of very athletic. Needs to get her shot down, and she's going to be a good one here at UD. Shade will check out of the ball game. Straub coming back in for Coach Shadel. UDA. There's Dunkelberger on the wing there for uh, Burke, and she lost the ball out of bounds. So it'll be the Trojans with a chance to come back and get a little closer. Now they trail by seven. It's 12 5 with a minute and seven seconds left here in the first quarter. Bingaman for Straub over there for Amanda Bingaman. Now back for Straub. They tried to go inside to Christy Bingaman, but right by everybody. Kind of threw that one down at Christy's knee. There wasn't hardly any chance on catching that one. And so it's a turnover. And uh, Dunkelberger trying to inbound it here for the Eagles. Does so for Schroeder. Schroeder has her pass blocked away. And a ball, a collision over here as Miller and uh, Smeltz collide. Foul's going to be on Miller, I believe. And if it is, it's going to be her third. It is. So Lindsay Miller is going to have to really slow it down here. Uh, she picked up her third foul here in the first period. 
Burke from outside for three off the mark. That one goes and a rebound comes down here to Amanda Bingaman and Amanda will control it back now for that uh, Straub. Straub off the foot of Dungelberg and out of bounds it goes. It'll remain UD ball. 32 seconds left here in the first quarter. Here's Straub with it. Straub swings it near wing over here for Miller. Back for Straub. Inside. A nice pass that time. And again, a shot here by Joanna Ewer wouldn't go. I believe it was Joanna that threw that one up. Looked like it. Hmm. So, Dunkelberger will inbound it here for the Eagles. Ahead for Schroeder. She has it tipped away. Picked up, and then Schroeder gets it back again. So a steal, and that's stolen away from her again. Here's another shot put up this time by, gosh, Joanna's got this one to go. All right, Joanna Ewer puts that one up and in very nicely. And she will go to the free throw line to finish off a three-point play here. If she can get one, it's now 12-7. Joanna can narrow the gap to four with just 12 seconds left here in the opening stanza. And we'll see if she can put this one in. Yep, she can. So good foul shot. Three-point play there by Joanna Ewer. And that makes the score 12-8 with a minute or rather 12.4 uh, seconds remaining here in the first quarter. Schroeder back over here now for that uh, Lanker and up court as Lanker got ready to fire that ball up court. She was fouled and um, see who the foul was on here. Foul was on number 34 Joanna you her second the team's uh, seventh. And so Lanker at the foul line shooting a one and one. Her first shot, no good. And let's see, on the rebound, it's a tie up and it will be UD ball. Straub gets ready to inbound the ball for Upper Dauphin with six seconds left here in the first quarter. Here's Amanda Bingaman. Amanda pushing it up court here for Christy Bingaman. Christy will have to get ready and shoot one. No, oh, and instead she gets tangled up and was caused to go for a walk with just seven tenth of one second remaining. The Lanker will inbound the ball and that'll be about it. Yep, that's going to do it. So at the end of one, the Eagles on top here by four. It's Line Mountain 12, UDA 8. Okay, the second period about ready to get underway now as the Smelts will inbound here to uh, Autumn Lenker. And she will push it over the wing there for Sch Schroeder. Lenker has it back for Schroeder. Schroeder goes inside with it, but the ball came loose on the floor. Picked up in there by Christy Bingaman. Quick outlet pass up here for Amanda. Amanda looking for two. Wouldn't go. And a rebound comes down here for Lenker, and then she is going to be tied up as um, she is tied up in there by Ashley Straub. And so uh, Ashley Shade will inbound the ball. Bingham it, swung it over in the wing. They'll come back this way with it, except that it's tipped out of there by uh, Blind Mountain. Janine Smelts tipping it out of there. Here's Shade. Into the corner she goes for Bingaman. Bingaman on the baseline. Steps back looking for two. It's good. Amanda Bingaman dumping it down there really nicely. And back with it comes Ashley Schroeder on the wing. Had the ball come loose. And it's fought for out at center court. Picked up here by Smelts. Smelts will take it inside looking for two. And a charge foul is going to be called. On Janine Smeltz, that time as Janine went down the paint and one of the Trojans was standing there and took the hit. And so the Trojans, with a chance to come back now and uh, tie up the ball game, as the Eagles drop back and the Trojans are going to be allowed to bring it up over the timeline, swing it over there for Bingaman and then back here for uh, a pass inside for Modern and the ball came loose in there from her, but Christy Bingaman picks it up. Christy Bingaman near side, right underneath is Straub for two, and Ashley Straub has tied up the ball game 12 12. Reed, quick pass down court, going to be throwing it over the head of Dunkelberger. 
And so for the first time tonight, the Trojans are going to have a chance to come back and take the lead. Coach Mike Reed calls a timeout. Okay, play back in now. The Eagles with a chance to take the lead. Here's Shade into the corner. Goes here for uh, Bingaman. Bingaman right underneath. She went with it. Pushes a shot up inside there by Motter is good. Jackie Motter, I think it's, no, I'm not sure it was Jackie. But at any rate, she gets two and makes it 14-12. Smelts will hand it back. The Trojans in the lead for the first time. This is Ashley into the corner. She goes, or Autumn rather, Dunkelberger. Now into Ashley Schroeder back out here for Autumn. Uh, shot put up no good and on a rebound controlled in air by Bingaman. She'll push it over here now for that uh, shade. And the Trojans can increase their margin to four if they get a bucket here. Pass down here for Amanda Bingaman. Amanda Bingaman has the ball tapped out of there. Janine Smeltz making the reach in there to tap that out for the Eagles. And shade will inbound the ball. Amanda Bingaman back here for Ashley Shade. Got a bunch of Ashleys out there tonight. Here's a, here's a, a foul is going to be called on Autumn Lanker as uh, she grabbed the arm of Ashley uh, Straub. For Autumn Lanker, it's her first. Right underneath, they went with it. Oh, and Motter missed that pass but the ball went off an eagle fortunately and so shade will inbound the ball 536 left here in the first half Christie er, Chris inside they go for a nope they're gonna call a walk on Motter and she thinks she was fouled but nope she wasn't it was uh, no shot they said it was a walk and so Lanker will inbound the ball for the Eagles. Whoops, and hold everything. We're going to have a walk called on Dunkelberger. As she tried to start up court, lost her footing over there. Slipped onto the court and was called for the walk. Here's Christy Bingaman. Christy, near swing over here. Shot put up there by Lanker, or by Straub, rather, wouldn't go. And on the out of bounds play, it went off an eagle. So Shade will inbound the ball for UDA. Whoa. Okay, let's see. It's going to be picked up here and then into the corner it goes. Bingaman for two. Just a little bit short on that one. Uh, Christy Bingaman has the rebound. Her shot a little bit long. And up comes uh, Janine Smeltz with it. Janine. Taking it inside, pushes the shot up, knocked away and picked up in air by UD. Straub came up with it for Shade here. Over to Straub on the wing. Now inside it goes to Christy Bingaman. Tries to bounce pass it over here for Motter, but stolen away by Janine Smeltz. Smeltz with a nice bounce pass over there for Dunkelberger. No good. Second shot by Smeltz, no good. Third try by Smeltz, no good. And back with it comes Straub. Straub will push it back here now for Shade. Shade has tripped up here, and we've got two Eagles down, and I certainly hope they're okay. As Smeltz and uh, Lanker went down pretty heavily out here, and Autumn looks like she may have injured that right knee. And she's going to hop off here or take it uh, a little easy. It's tender for sure. And the official is going to find out whether she's okay or not. There was a one and one foul called on the play. Ashley uh, Shade will go to the foul line shooting a one and one as it was the seventh team foul for Autumn uh, Lanker, her second. Shade's first shot is good. Makes it a three point margin for UD now, 15 to 12. Now we'll see if Ashley can get another one in here. Yep, she can. 16-12, UD by four. Up court with it, and oh, a little foul there. Well, we're going with three officials, and uh, our lady gal official over here is going to call a foul on uh, UD. And it will send 
Autumn Lenker to the foul line, shooting two. Foul was on Amanda Bingaman, her second as Lenker misses her first of a one and one. And we have a hold underneath and another one and one shot called here. This one will be again on UD and again this time it will be uh, Smeltz going to the foul line for the Eagles and she'll be shooting a one and one. Foul was on Amanda Bingaman, her third. So the Trojans picking up a bunch of fouls here tonight as uh, Janine Smeltz makes her first of a one and one. So she'll get to shoot another one. Her second shot, no good. Rebound comes down here to Reed. Turnaround shot, no good. Rebounded and out of bounds it goes. This time off the uh, hands of Joanna Ewer, I think. And so uh, Linker will inbound the ball. Amanda Bingaman checks out. Christy Bingaman back in there. These are cousins. These gals are cousins. And uh, Schroeder into the corner here for Lenker. Ashley Schroeder over here for Dunkelberger. Dunkelberger goes into the wing over here. Reed from a long way out. No good. Rebound comes right down there to Joanna Ewer, and she'll drop it back here now as Shade takes it up court for the Trojans. Here's Shade with it. Near wing over here. They come to Christy Bingham and Christy picking up the dribble, looking for some help back for uh, Straub over in the corner. Now for Shade and Shade is going to be called for a walk as Ashley started in there and kind of got a little bit tangled up on the start and they called her for the walk. A 357 left here in the first half of this ball game as uh, Autumn Lanker inbounds it here for Dunkelberger. Here's Schroeder. Lanker and Schroeder playing with it. Schroeder on the left wing. Now here for Dunkelberger. They'll try the right wing here now. Reed back here for Dunkelberger out in front and they'll swing it for Schroeder. Dunkelberger playing into the corner here for Reed. Reed goes to take it inside. Stripped away nicely in there by Shade. Quick pass ahead here for Ewer. Ewer for two. Uh -uh. Return shot put up. No good, but a foul called. And the foul will send Ashley uh, Straub to the foul line. She will be shooting two. Foul was on Tanya Reed, her second, I believe it is. And the first shot put up by Straub is no good. Ashley will shoot it again. It's uh, 16, 13, and oh, a little short. On the rebound, whoever controlled and it tied up in there, Christy uh, Bingaman tied up by Ashley Schroeder. Oh, on the tie up, it belongs to the Eagles. Dunkelberger will inbound it here for Smeltz. Smeltz taking it up court, dropping it right there for Dunkelberger, who'll take it across the timeline into the corner here. Shot from outside by Schroeder for three, no good. Rebound is tipped over there, and Burke goes after it, but it's picked up in there by Ewer, then stolen away by Reed, then stolen back by the Trojans. Shade coming back up with it, going all the way on the baseline with it, pushes it out in front here for Christy Bingaman. Christy for two, it's good. Well, Christy Bingaman, where'd she get to? There she is, Christy Bingaman hangs right in there and gets herself two. Here's Burke with it, coming up court for Line Mountain. Burke going all the way, but I think she ran first. She did. Yep, Elsie Burke took about a step and a half too many that time and got called for the walk, and so UD will inbound the ball. It's 18-13, Trojans by five, 240 left here in the first half. Shade taking it all the way on the baseline and hold everything. A foul will be called on Reed. Lanker picked up her third. I said uh, Reed before, but it wasn't Reed, it was uh, Lanker. Tanya will pick up her second. I didn't think she had three fouls on her, but she does have two. Reed picks up her second, and that sends Ashley Shade to the line, shooting two. Her first one, or shooting a one and one, it was. Okay, I thought the man put two up. Anyway, here's Burke. And Burke across the timeline. 
for Coach Reed. Here for Dunkelberger. Over there for Reed. Back for Dunkelberger. Dunkelberger from outside for three. Wow, just off the mark and over the back of the board as she goes with 2.17 left here in the first half. Trojans up 18-13 as Shade has the inbounds pass. Back for uh, Straub. Straub looping it ahead here for Christy Bingham and Bingham and will walk with it. Christy got tangled up there and turned it over. And so it goes right back to Lion Mountain. Pass over here for um, Smeltz on the inbound play. Here comes Smeltz with it. Smeltz over the timeline and going all the way into the wing and then out of bounds it goes. Janine's not sure exactly what happened to that one, but they ruled it went off her, and I guess it did. And so UD will inbound the ball. Shade with it. Some four court pressure put on here by the Eagles right at the moment as Straub breaks it down court, picking it up over here for Bingaman. Bingaman with a nice bounce pass over there for Yor, and Joanna Yor did not miss that one. A nice bounce pass by Christy Bingaman. Christy has it back again for Motter. Motter will drop it back here for Straub. Nice play finishing off that one for UD moments ago, and then Joanna Yor will walk with it. Joanna starting off too quickly. It's 20 to 13. Trojans by seven with a minute and a half left here in the first half. Dunkelberger uh, for. Uh, whoa, are they going to rule that? No, that's right. They changed the ruling. They said it was going to be blue ball, but Burke lost it out of bounds. And so Straub will inbound, or uh, rather Shade will inbound the ball for UDA. Shade getting set to inbound. I think. Yep, pushing it back here for Straub. Now right inside for Shade. Shade's bump, but the shot goes out of bounds. Tapped out of there by Tonya Reed of uh, the Eagles. Shade will try to inbound it again. Pushes it back here now for Straub. Ashley on the wing. She goes with it now inside with a nice pass. Shot put up by Motter wouldn't go, but she will go to the line shooting two. Jess Monter at the line shooting too. Here's her first try. It is beautiful. Right down the shoot. 21 13 or 2013. No, I thought it was 21. Well, we'll see. Yep, 21 there. It's on the board. Second try. Is no, not quite. And on the rebound, how are they gonna rule this? Out of bounds off the Trojans, and so. With 116 remaining here in the first half, Dunkelberger will inbound the ball. I think. Yep, she did. Here comes uh, a quick pass down here now for uh, Clock, who is in the ball game, I believe it is. Yep, and she'll roll on the court. Uh, her and uh, Christy Bingaman getting tied up in there. And Trojans coming up court with it. 45, Lenny. Lenny, number 45. Here comes Shade with it. Shade taking it on the wing. Shot by Ewer. It's good. Well, Joanna Ewer, who I have said uh, just needs to perfect that shot of hers, and she'll be all right. And she's been putting a couple in now. So Schroeder trying to get it inside, bounces it off the leg of uh, Jess Motter, and out of bounds it goes. So it'll be inbounded here by Ashley Schroeder. And Schroeder back out here for Dunkelberger. Dunkelberger for three, just off the mark. Return shot put up in there by uh, the Eagles wouldn't go. And then the ball goes off Lenny, get out of bounds. So 34 seconds remain here in the first half. Eagles passing it up here for Bingaman. Bingaman picking it up, gets it over here for Moner. Moner goes on the baseline with a nice pass for Yur and Yur for two more. Joanna Yur's going to end up high score here if she's not careful, and that's all right. Back with it comes uh, Janine Smeltz. Janine trying to work it inside, puts the shot up, no good. Rebound comes down, and let's see, on the floor it goes, and they're going to say it was tied up down there. As Lenny tied it up with uh, Straub. And so Dunkelberger will inbound the ball with just six seconds left here in the first half. 
Trojans now with a 12 point margin had had trailed at one time by as many as uh, six or seven early on. There's a shot from the wing. It is good. And that'll do it as Dunkelberger buries a three pointer right at the buzzer. So the score at the end of one half of the ball game is UDA 25 and the visiting Line Mountain Eagles 16. Back with the second half in just a moment. Okay, the teams are back. Second half underway here now as uh, Straub will put a, play it ahead here now for Shade. Shade over there for that uh, Ashley Straub into the corner. She goes with a nice pass and a shot put up over there by Miller is good. So uh, she found Miller hanging on the baseline and push it right through to her. Here's Reed for two. It is no good. Wouldn't go. Tanya Reed's second try won't go. And on the rebound, we've got a push foul underneath. And the foul is going to be on Tanya Reed. And for her, it will be her fourth. And Tanya is going to check out and let it come back into the ball game. But Tanya Reed will check out here now, picking up her fourth personal foul as she was uh, trying to get a shot to go down down there and then pushed off on the rebound of her second shot. So Tanya picks up the personal foul. Pass over there for uh, pass to the corner. Miller has the shot partially blocked away, but picked up inside by UD. And then Lettick will be tied up by Joanna Ewer. And on the tie up, it's going to be Eagle Ball. So uh, Autumn Lanker passing in ahead here now for Dunkelberger. Dunkelberger looked like a carry, but they didn't call it. Then it looked like a walk, didn't carry that either. Lanker's got it back. Nice bounce pass inside for Burke for two. So Autumn Lanker found Kelsey Burke inside and passed it in there nicely and got two out of that. Here's a pass and a collision. Uh, down goes Lettick, and then out of the bounds goes the basketball off the hands of uh, Lindsey Miller, who tracked that one down in the corner. I was watching Lettick uh, collide out here with one of the Trojans. And they're both okay. So here's Dunkelberger working it up court for Line Mountain. Well, almost. And now picked off in here by Straub. Ashley controlling back here for UD. Near wing over here for Miller. And Miller will bounce it back for Straub. Over in the corner it goes to Shade. Inside they go with it now, but a foul will be called on Lettick. <clears throat> I believe, or was it on Jackie Motter? No, it was on Lettick. She picked up her first and uh, ball will be inbounded here. They tried to get it right inside here for Jess Motter, but uh, and then here's a steal. Oh, they're going to call a hold on Ashley Straub. And that call there has got to be a wee bit questionable. Looked like all ball and a steal. Wow. Here's Lanker to inbound. It does so here for Dunkelberger. Back here for Autumn Lanker. Autumn coming down the court with a full head of steam. Passes it inside here for Lettick for two. It's good. Well, they got it down to Miss Lettick, and she put it home nicely there for the Eagles. And now the uh, Trojans, in the meantime, trying to bring it up court here as Shade will play it back here. And then they'll loop it ahead here now and finally down into the wing and hold everything. Miller is fouled. Foul might be on Lettick. We'll see. Yep, it was a blocking foul called on Lettick. None shooting. Her second. And a Shade will inbound the ball for UD. Loops it back here. In the corner. Tapped out of there by Janine Smeltz. Of the Eagles. So UD will inbound again. Shade getting set to inbound. will probably come back here to Miller. Nope, goes instead to Motter over there for Shade. Shade on the baseline for two. It's good. <laughs> Ashley Shade on the give and go, or give back whatever from uh, Motter. Got herself two. Here's Lenny with the ball out in front, controlling it back here now for Lanker. Autumn Lanker for three, just off the mark. That one goes, and a rebound on the far side to Shade. She'll bounce it back here for Straub. Straub with Janine Smeltz guarding her, pushes it over there for Shade. Ashley down the court with it inside now back out and on the wing. 
Whoops, tipped away in there by Dunkelberger, but recovered by Shade. Inside it goes. This one's going to be stolen away. Wow. And let's see. Leidick is going to be okay, she said. Yep, that's good. 5.25 left here in the third. 29.20 UD by nine. Trojans with a chance to open up double figure margin here if we can get a bucket. Miller on the wing for Shade. Shade will go in the baseline with it. Stop, drops it inside here for Motter. Motter on the floor for the dribble once. Puts the shot up, no good. Letty coming back with it for Lion Mountain. Heading all the way to the hoop and then has it blocked out of there. And they're going to be a two-shot foul call. And let's see. She went into the boards pretty hard there. Now we've got an injury timeout for sure. She's going to be okay, I think. Well, hurt her hip or her leg. She is a hurting pup. She really took a header in there. The score in the meantime, with 5-11 remaining here in the third quarter is UD 29 and Lion Mountain 20. And uh, they will administer here to Miss Lenick. Well, Lenick is really hurting on that uh, right knee, I think. And she gets a nice round of applause here from the fans as she is going to be helped off the court. And the game will have to resume here <coughs> without head coach. Mike Reed momentarily, who helped carry his ball player to the dressing room. <coughs> in the meantime, shooting and in the game now, number 35, Latshaw, will come in to shoot the foul shot for uh, Miss Letty. She'll be shooting two. Here's her first shot. It is just off the mark, no good. It is, and it is good. Well, she made one out of two, and it's 29-21 now. The UD lead down to eight. Here comes Straub, pushing it ahead. Over in the corner it goes. Uh, off the foot of Janine Smeltz, and it'll be a kickball. UD will maintain possession. 4.58 left here in the third. Shade will inbound for the Trojans. Back here for Miller. Miller working it for Straub. Ashley near wing over here. Shot by Shade for three is good. Ashley number 21 Shade gets the 32nd point for UD as Lanker will try to push it inside for Burke. Picked up in there on the loose ball. Back with it comes Ashley Miller for UD. Back for Shade. Shade will spin it over in the wing over there for that uh, Lenker, or rather for uh, Straub. Now it's coming back here for Miller. Miller back here for Shade. Shade over in the wing. Shade out in front for Miller. Ashley for Shade in front. Now it's swung over here for Miller. Miller will go to take it inside, but it's tied up as number 24. Lenker ties up Miller going in there. Lenker herself injured earlier, and she seems to be doing okay with her wheel, probably playing with some pain, I'm sure. And Miller coming down into the wing. Now back here for Shade. Shade back over to Miller. Deep on the baseline, takes it inside. Bounce pass underneath there for Motter. Wouldn't go. And on the rebound, the ball goes out of bounds, and it's going to be UD ball. They rule that Janine Smeltz had gone out of bounds with it, had stepped out of bounds, and so Shade will inbound the ball for UD. Shade pushing it back here for Straub. Near side here for Miller. Back over to Shade, but stolen away by uh, Ashley Sh Schroeder. Schroeder coming down with it, taking it back for Lenker. Here's Smeltz with it. Smeltz had the ball go off a foot. Picked up. Looping ahead to pass here for Shade. Shade for two. It's good. 
So good work there by the Trojans. Ashley Shade finishing off that play. It's 34 21. Ball is loose, picked up. Back here for Shade. Shade will take it to the hoop, but a foul will be called on Janine Smeltz before she can get in that far. Foul on Janine will be personal foul number three. With 324 left here in the third quarter. Trojans now up by 13. And they have the ball to inbound. Right inside it goes for Straub for two. Good inbounds pass to Ashley Straub from Ashley Shade. And Straub was able to put it home. Here's a pass stolen away to Shade. Shade for two, a little bit short. Rebound comes down to... Uh, oh, yeah! And timeout called by the Lion Mountain Lady Eagles. Now has things start to come unglued for them. It is 36-21 UD by 15 with 3.08 left here in the third. The timeout is over. And back comes uh, Amanda Bingaman for two. Wouldn't stay down. Rebound comes down the Latchaw. We'll push it back here. And Ewer picked the pass off. No good. Christy Bingaman swings it out on the wing for uh, Shade. Shade into the corner there for Bingham, and this is Amanda Bingham, and her shot wouldn't go, blocked away partially by Janine Smeltz, and then a foul will be called on UD, I believe. Foul was on 21 Shade, her second. Here comes Dunkelberger up court with it for the Line Mountain Eagles. Stolen away there by Shade. Shade racing to the hoop looking for two. It's good. And a foul will be called on Autumn Lanker. And Shade will go to the line shooting one to get three. Nice job, Ash. Heck of a job there by Ashley Shade. After the steal was made out here at the midcourt, raced in there, took... Uh, Autumn Lanker with her, and Autumn put the foul on her, but the ball dropped for Ashley, and Ashley can finish off a three-pointer here if she gets a crack at it here. For Autumn Lanker was her fourth personal foul, so she's got to be removed from the ball game momentarily at any rate. Here's a shot missed, and dunkelberger has got it for the Eagles. Near wing, she'll put it here for Burke. Dunkelberger over in the wing it goes. Schroeder takes it on the baseline here for a shot by Latchaw. No good. Burke had the rebound, but then lost it out of bounds. And going to say it, it's blue ball. They're going to rule that it went off uh, Joanna Ewer. So Dunkelberger back over here for Burke. There's for three by Dunkelberger. Wouldn't go. On the rebound. Let's see. It's tied up inside there as Latchaw will tie it up with Shade. And on a tie-up, it will remain eagle ball this time. And Dunkelberger will inbound the ball. 2-10 left in the third. Trojans up by 17. Schroeder, near wing. Now the ball is tapped out of there by Christy Bingaman. And then out of bounds, it goes off Dunkelberger. It'll be eagle ball, or, or uh, rather a Trojan ball as it went off Christy Bingaman. Way to go, Christy. Christy alertly slamming that one back in here off the shoulder of uh, the Eagle. Here's Bingaman swinging it over here now for a shot from outside for three in and out it went no good return shot put up by Amanda Bingaman no good and on the tie up let's see this time it should be UD ball and it, it will be Trojans will maintain possession up here as Shade will get ready to put it in bounds. Right underneath here for Christy Bingaman. Christy lost the handle on it. On the floor it goes. She and Burke tie it up. So this time it will be the Eagles inbounding. Dunkelberger. Inbounds it here for Burke. And Burke has the ball tapped away from her. And they're going to call a push foul on UD. Shade will pick up her third personal foul. And uh, Warner for UD getting off the bench for Coach Shadle as Ashley Shade picks up her third personal foul with a minute 39 left here in the third period. Both teams have committed a bunch of fouls tonight. Here's Burke back here for Dunkelberger. 
Back here for Burke. Burke steps up for a long two. It's no good. Off the mark it goes, and Amanda Bingham's got it corralled over there for UD. This is Straub swinging it over here for Shade. Ashley crossed the timeline now. We'll swing it near side here for Amanda Bingaman. Back over there for Shade. Inside, Christy Bingaman's got it. Dumps it over in a wing. Shot from the side over here by Straub. Wouldn't go. Gets her own rebound. Puts a shot up. No good, but a foul called. And Straub will go to the line. Shooting two. 104 left here in the third period. First shot by Straub. It's good. Straub is a sophomore here at UDA. And she has played well so far in early going here for Coach Shadle. Motter will check into the ballgame to replace Joanna Ewer for the uh, Trojans with 104 left here in the third quarter. The Trojans really started to come on the latter part of the second quarter and then here in the third quarter they've improved their margin a lot as uh, Straub makes two for two from the free throw line. And here comes Schroeder who is a freshman losing the ball away over there to uh, Straub and back comes Lenker or, or rather Warner for UD inside to Christy Bingham and right underneath of the good pass to J Jess Motter and just missed the shot but a nice pass from Christy Bingham to uh, Jess Motter and just couldn't quite control that one inside so we've got 39 seconds left here in the third quarter. Trojans up now by 19. It's 40 to 21. There's Latchaw pushing it off the leg of, of uh, Burke. Out in front now they'll swing it over in a wing. Now inside here for a pass on the baseline. Shot put up in there by Latchaw. No good. Rebound comes down to Christy Bingham and nearly stolen away from her by Burke. But Amanda Bingham has got control of it now for UD. Dropping it back here for Shade. Less than a minute to play. Matter of fact, 16 seconds to play. Amanda Bingham in here for Christy Bingham and Christy Bingham is fouled. Foul will be on Latchaw. And that's going to send Christy Bingham to the foul line shooting a one and one with just 12.7 seconds remaining here in the third. Here's Christy's first shot. It is. In and out, no good. Rebounded in there by uh, Janine Smeltz. And Janine has some problems with it. And then a push foul will be called on UD. It must have been on 32, I believe, we'll see. Straub was the fouler that time, and she picked up her fourth. As Warner has the ball knocked out of there, they're going to call it blue ball. Uh, so Ashley Straub takes a seat and uh, I think it was uh, Miller replacing her in here for Shadle. Coach Shadle here comes uh, Janine Smeltz with it. Janine taking it down puts the shot up. It is no good as the buzzer sounds to end the third quarter here at UDA. So at the end of three the Trojans looking pretty good in this one leading by 19. It's UDA 40 and the Eagles 21. Okay, set to go here now as the uh, ball clubs pick it up for the fourth and final period. Amanda Bingham back here for Miller. Miller spinning it over there on the wing. Bingham for, that's uh, Christy Bingham for two, wouldn't go. Amanda Bingham tried to save it inbounds, but it's saved in here to Schroeder. Schroeder heading down with a head of steam looking for two, it's good. So Ashley Schroeder gets herself two, 40 to 23. Here's Bingham spinning it over there for you're your picking it up back here for Amanda Bingaman. Amanda, whoop, turn that one over now as she double dribbled it or turned it over. Did Amanda. And so it'll be inbounded here by the Eagles as Dunkelberger gets ready to do just that for Lanker. Dunkelberger. Into the corner she goes. Shot from the wing. Good for a three by uh, Autumn Lanker. Here comes Bingaman. Bingaman pushing it ahead here now for the other. Bingaman stolen away by uh, Janine Smeltz. Janine firing it up court here now for a pass. Tries to go inside with it and it's going to go out of bounds. Off a leg or whatever. And it will be UD ball. 
40 to 26 Trojan margin at 14. Of court comes your dropping it back here for Amanda Bingham and over there for your your down on the baseline Christy Bingham and near side over here for Miller Miller pops it over everything and Janine Smeltz has the rebound and a foul will be called on one of the Trojans. Let's see. Looked like it was on number 34, Joanna, you're her third. Janine Smeltz will be at the line for the Eagles. She will be shooting a one and one. Seventh team foul. First try, no good. And a rebound comes down inside there to uh, Hewer. We'll drop it back now for Ashley Shade. Bingaman in the corner. Shot by Christy Bingaman for two, for no, by Joanna Ewer. For two is good. And up court they come. Whoa, wait a second. We're going to have a blocking foul called on a man of Bingham in that time as a man got herself in a position to get run over. <laughs> and she did. And so Dunkelberger will go to the foul line shooting a one on one. The eighth foul on UD. Fourth foul on Amanda Bingham. She has, Straub has four. Amanda Bingham has four. And here's the first shot by Dunkelberger is good. I think it's might be Amy Dunkelberger, I think. Here's her second try, and this one is in and out. No good. Ball gets tipped around inside there, controlled by Christy Bingham and ahead here now for Miller. Here comes Lindsay Miller with it. Dropping it there for Shade. Shade back over here for Lindsay Miller. And Lindsay. Will drop it back for Shade. Goes around the wing. Over there for Ewer. Inside they come. Oh, a nice bounce pass inside for Christy Bingaman. Christy could not miss that one as she was right underneath there. And up with it comes Schroeder for the Eagles. Lost the handle on it. Ball goes on the floor and then it's going to be tied up. As Schroeder and Christy Bingaman tie it up. And on the tie up it will remain Eagle ball. And Dunkelberger will inbound the ball. 5.51 left in the ball game. 44-27, UD on the road to its first victory of the season and the first league game victory, I might add. Here's a shot from outside by uh, Lanker, no good. Rebound to Schroeder, Schroeder's shot won't go. Hung on the rim, it's return shot put up and in by Janine Smeltz, number 44. Janine, the senior. Here's a looping pass ahead here now for a charging Christy Bingham and Wingo gets her own rebound, puts her second try up, no good. Back with it comes Dunkelberger. Amy Dunkelberger looking for two, didn't lift it high enough. Rebound comes down there to Shade. Shade coming down the court with it for UD. For Miller. Miller into the corner she goes with it now for Amanda Bingham. Now Amanda will work it back out here for Shade. Shade taking it down the left wing into the corner it goes for Amanda Bingham. Amanda on the baseline tried to get it in front but stolen away here by Janine Smeltz. Janine coming up court with it for the Eagles. Bounces it there for a shot from over there by uh, Dungelberger which was short and out of bounds it went. It should be a foul call. Hold everything. The foul was on Ashley Schroeder. She picked up her second personal foul. And Christy Bingaman of UDA will go to the line shooting one on one. First shot, good. 45 29, as you can plainly see on the scoreboard. 445 left here in the ballgame. <clears throat> Christy Bingaman will attempt her second shot. And it is no good. A rebound comes down here to Schroeder. And Ashley Schroeder taking it down court. They lost it away. Binghamton picked off the ball. And then another foul will be called on Schroeder, her third. And this is going to send Christy Binghamton to the foul line for UDA. She will be shooting a one and one. Begin of the ball game for uh, the Eagles. Shot by Binghamton, no good. And the rebound comes down there to Janine Smeltz. Janine down the court with it for the Eagles. Having some trouble with it. Janine Smeltz will work it around front, dropping it back here for Dunkelberger. Now she goes on the baseline with a pass in there for uh, Reed, Reed, who is back in. And then a walk will be called on Tanya Reed. 
Tanya sat out a lot of this ball game. I'm not exactly sure why, but she's back in there now and then was called for the walk. There's a blocking foul going to be called on Janine Smeltz with 418 left here in the ball game, and that's going to send uh, Lindsay Miller to the foul line for UDA, and she'll be shooting uh, one and one. Or will she be shooting two? Yeah, she'll be shooting two. Scorekeeper just a bit slow getting that number up there, but anyway, she's shooting two. And Lindsay missed her first one. In and out, wobbled around, come back out. Second shot by Miller is good. And so we've got a 46 to 29 ball game. Quick pass up court here now. We'll spun, be spun back here to Dungelberger. Over in the corner it goes. Here's Reed. She'll walk with it. Tanya goes for a walk. Shadle inbound the ball for UD. For Miller. Lindsay Miller. Ahead here now for Amanda Bingaman. Amanda Bingaman pass down court here for Christy Bingaman. Christy goes on the baseline. Back outside they'll go now. Amanda Bingaman, 15 foot try. No good. Rebound on the far side controlled by Ewer. Back for Shade. Here's Lindsay Miller. Lindsay Miller back here for Shade. Shade into the corner. Amanda Bingaman for two. It is no good. Rebound here to Ewer. Her shot partially blocked away. And then Amanda Bingaman will pick up her fourth foul, I believe it is. We'll see. And uh, picked up her fifth. So she has fouled out of the ball game. Into the lineup for UDA comes Motter. And um, Smelts at the line shooting a one and one. Missed the first shot, and so that's all she'll get. And this is Shade with it for UDA. 325 left here, and a foul called on Kelsey uh, Burke. And that's going to send uh, Shade to the line shooting two. Ashley to shoot a pair. First shot, good. Here's Ashley's second try. It is also good. 48-29 UD with 3.24 left here in the game. Quick pass down here for Burke. Burke out in front here for Dunkelberger. Over the wing it goes to Lenker. Lenker for Dunkelberger. Dunkelberger for three. It's good. It is good. Amy Dunkelberger, and I'm pretty sure it's Amy. She's got a three-bagger, and up court with it come the Trojans here, spinning it for Christy Bingaman, dropping it off there for Motter, Jess Motter, right there off the pass of Christy Bingaman, and Motter gets two. There's a ball tapped away, picked up in here by Miller. Miller to the hoop for two, and a charge foul is going to be called on Lindsey Miller as she charged into one of the Eagles. And uh, let's see, that... Uh, Will cause Schroeder and uh, Latchaw to come back into the ball game for the Eagles and to the foul line. Or will there be a shooting? No, there won't be any shooting. As a matter of fact, it'll be the Eagles inbounding the ball. Okay, the Eagles getting ready to inbound the ball now. We're back here it comes to. Uh, Dunkelberger. Dunkelberger goes on the baseline for Reed. Reed has the ball taken down there, and they're going to call steps on her as she had the ball on the baseline but was tied up immediately by UD. 240 left in the game. Straub, who is back in there, passes the ball here to Schroeder. Schroeder stops and pops one up good for two. So Ashley Schroeder off the steal, puts the ball in for the Eagles, and back with it comes Shade in the meantime. Shade over into the corner it goes for Stra uh, Straub, or Miller rather. Here's Straub with it. Straub inside. She wanted to go with it, but it's tipped away. Picked up by Latchaw. Ahead here for Lenker. And Autumn Lenker to the hoop for two and a charge foul will be called on Autumn Lenker as she ran over Ashley Shade. Ashley taking the charge and Autumn picking up her fifth. And Autumn Lenker, this young freshman, 
is going to check out of her first Tri Valley League ball game. <laughs> yep, she had to pick up fifth personal foul. So, got two ten remaining here in the ball game. Warner back into the ball game for UD. This is Warner with it now. Near wing over here she goes to Miller. Miller picking up the dribble. We'll spin it here for Monter into the corner. It goes Straub for two. It's good. Ashley Straub for two. 52, 34. Here's Schroeder. Schroeder coming down the wing with it. Schroeder takes it out in front. Over in the baseline it goes. Shot from over there by Reed. A little long, no good. Return shot by uh, Burke is good. Schroeder coming, or uh, Straub coming up court with it for a, a pass for Monter. And Jackie is hammered by Tonya Reed. And she will go to the line shooting two. Where she can figure out where the foul line is. Yeah, here she goes. I think that hit Jess. And uh, I will send Tonya Reed out of the ball game with five personal fouls. So Reed checks out of the ball game with five fouls. In to replace her comes, well, let's see, number 20. UD with a couple new faces in there. Number 12, I think, is Crab. And. Um, 41 also in Aris Mater gets set to uh, put her first try up. No good. She'll shoot again. Keeper number 20 or 40 rather Stein in there for UD. Second shot. No good. And rebound comes down here to Schroeder of uh, Lion Mountain. Here's Dunkelberger picking it up for the Eagles. Near wing. They'll spin it over here for Burke. Inside she goes with it. Turnaround shot by Stein is no good. Or Keitel, rather. Keitel. And Keitel will go to the foul line, shooting two. Her first shot. Second shot. Good. So Keitel comes into the ball game and gets a bucket. Rudisil into the game now, number 10 for UD. This is Crab picking it up over there for that uh, 15, Warner. Warner back here for Crab. Crab will take it inside and then picked it up and walked with it. So she did not take the shot, but she will go back on defense. Hunkelberger into the corner it goes and off the fingertips of Schroeder and out of bounds. 42 seconds left in this one. Eagles start out, or the Trojans rather, start out rather slowly in this one. Left the Eagles run up a pretty decent opening score. But boy, after they finally got it going here in the second quarter, late, like mid second quarter, whatever, man, they just never looked back. They had the uh, game pretty much in their position, their way all the way after that. And here's a shot put up, no good by Rudis Hill. Return shot put up by number 22 of UD, and that's Harmon. Here's a baseline pass coming out here and it's going to be tipped away off the hands of uh, Stein and out of bounds. And so the Eagles will inbound the ball with 14 seconds left. And swing it back here. Now over in the corner. Shot from over there by uh, number 20. Keitel for three is good. So she's got four points in the ball game. Here comes Crab. Crab wants to shoot it up if she can. Nope, couldn't do it. As the buzzer goes to end the ball game. Final score, it's a 14-point margin for UDA. Upper Dolphin 54. The Eagles of Lion Mountain 40. So in their first outing here in the brand new 2000-2001 uh, season, the Trojans are victorious over the Lion Mountain Lady Eagles. And Eagles under Coach Reed suffer their first TVL defeat of the season, but they'll be back and and uh, win a bunch, I'm sure. In the meantime, they'll have to regroup and the Trojans very happy about that opening uh, the season opening victory tonight have played very well after they turned it on and then just didn't look back. So good ball game.
And we'll catch you all later at the next UDA Lady Trojan basketball game. Good night from UDA.